This morning we had a great visit to the Taj Mahal for sunrise and later on this evening we're actually going to be jumping on an overnight train to Varanasi. So before then I've got a bit of time just to talk you through some of the kit that's been in my bag for this trip. This is the Sony 85mm f1.4 G Master lens. It's fantastic for portraits so I brought this along for um, photographing the girls at Shiro's Cafe. Alongside that I've been using the G Master 16-35mm f.2 and again this is a quality lens pin sharp right across the range and this basically is one of the two lenses that I would always carry because it gives me that wide angle focal length for some of the architectural shots um, and is the perfect accompanying to the 2470. So that leads me nicely onto this. This is probably the best lens that you could invest in for travel photography. It's the 2470 G Master f2.8 and again it is pin sharp from the 2.8 all the way through uh, fantastic you know I can't speak highly enough about this and I've coupled this with the new Sony a7 III now this camera is as I say new to the market but it is taking it onto the next level really in terms of that a7 series it's a huge jump up I've always shot with full frame DSLRs so I've been hesitant about making the jump to mirrorless cameras and this is one of the models that really will make you consider very strongly that case. The electronic viewfinder is fantastic, battery life is amazing, so I've been shooting full day non-stop and still have battery left at the end of that day. So really there's a lot to be said for this camera, its price point too is obviously very very appealing. This is well worth a look at and this combination as I say, the travel photography perfect. Now this little thing that I've got here, I've not been using this trip but I brought it along just in case. So one of the things you'll notice on the A7 series is the form factor is obviously a lot smaller and lighter than a full frame DSLR. Now this basically extends the grip at the bottom for your little finger so it makes it more comfortable for those with a big hand. What it will do is cover the battery compartment but as I say your battery will last a day of fully charged before you set out so not an issue and it's a nice little accessory to consider if you're looking at that form factor. So I mentioned how good the battery life is but I would always recommend taking a spare um, but unlike the earlier models you don't need to take two, three, four, five batteries, one should suffice. And similar to batteries, spare memory cards are an essential when you're travelling. If you're like me you'll be shooting lots and so you'll need these on the road. And then there's a second camera, um, I'm carrying the Sony RX100 Mark V. Now this is a pocketable little one inch sensor camera. It's a 2470 zoom with a Zeiss lens um, which goes down to 1.8. Tiltable screen so you can be discreet when doing street as well. Um, and as I say, produces really, really nice imagery. So this is really here as a backup to the A7 III um, and just gives me another option if I want to be more discreet. When I'm traveling, I also like to take my laptop with me. So this is the 13 inch HP Spectre 360. This gives me the option to review images and also then, as I say, back them up from the card so I can keep them on the hard drive, but then also back them up to this, which is a lacy rugged hard drive. So again, I've got dual backup as well as a second memory card, which the A7 III can hold now. And obviously it fits nicely into my bag. Now I've also brought with me the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. This is a very handy tabletop tripod and it's just in case you, you, know, you need that stabilisation when you're away. It's very, very lightweight and fits very easy into the bag. Now I also love to shoot long exposures as well, so I always take a tripod with me. And this travel tripod is perfect, so it's the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. Packs up small, extends high and is light to carry, so there's not much more you want in a travel tripod than that. Now this fits perfectly into my bag that I've been carrying, which is the Manfrotto Advanced uh, Travel Backpack. Now as you can see, it extends to actually include the tripod in there, which is perfect. It's like a cavern inside, to be honest. It's got all my kit in, and it's a very lightweight bag anyway, so it's not a burden to carry. It's very, very comfortable as well, actually. So plenty of room in there for everything that I've showed you and more. So that's everything tucked away nicely. What we're gonna do now is grab some food, probably a curry again, let's be fair, we're in India, and then we're gonna head off for the train.